lacrosse, the fastest summer game in the world. A game originated by the North American Indians long before the coming of the white man. In recent years, a new style of play has sparked a great renewal of interest in the sport. The rough and tumble formerly associated with lacrosse has been replaced by a fast, wide open game requiring both individual skill and teamwork. In today's game, size and strength are no longer important. The emphasis is on speed, stick handling, and passing. The Canadian game, known as box lacrosse, is played both indoors and outdoors, normally in the same enclosure used for hockey in the winter. In a regulation game, each team may use only five players plus the goalkeeper at any one time. Field lacrosse, a slightly different form of the game, is played in England and Australia as well as in Canada. It is also a major sport at over 60 American universities. As with most sports, the younger you start lacrosse, the easier it is to learn. In recent years, minor league lacrosse has expanded at a great rate. Boys start in the novice and peewee leagues and work their way up to junior and senior. Okay, let's go. Billy Wilson had moved to this town during the past winter. He had played hockey with these boys, but lacrosse was something brand new to him. His friends decided to show off a little. Billy had never even seen a lacrosse stick before. And he was surprised to learn that they are all still handmade by Canadian Indians. The sticks are made from second growth hickory and the manufacturing methods are as old as the game itself. Here at the Chisholm Lacrosse Company in Cornwall, Ontario, more than 95% of the world's lacrosse sticks are made. 
the workers, all Mohawk Indians, turn out more than 25,000 handmade sticks a year. As in early days, the women are still responsible for weaving the cowhide nets for the sticks. An interesting fact is that more than 75% of the company's output is exported to the United States and England. Billy Wilson has made up his mind. He has decided to try a fast, active sport this summer. It is the coach's responsibility to make certain that each boy is properly protected. Baby, if you break me, sweater on you now. Eric, you gotta play good tonight. Here you go. A goalkeeper requires additional equipment: chest protector, mask, leg guards. Most of it can be used for other sports. Okay, there. Many Canadian high schools are now teaching the fundamentals of lacrosse in their physical education classes. A softer ball is used, and even in the smallest gyms, drills can be developed that require little special equipment. Two lines. Drill number two, move. A dozen lacrosse sticks cost less than fifty dollars, and with proper care, will last for years. In the spring and fall, the classes can be moved outdoors. This can lead to interscholastic competition, or the boys can utilize their skills by playing on minor league community teams in the summer. Get it over the shoulder. You're too high, Saul. Down here. Billy Wilson has been taught the basic passing and catching techniques. Now, on his own, he's improving his skill. He's not too sure of himself yet, but it won't be long. But how do communities that have never had lacrosse go about starting it? In this city of 50,000, a local group had sparked a movement to introduce the game into their minor sports program. The Canadian Lacrosse Association was contacted, and less than two weeks later, a team of instructors arrived to conduct a two-day clinic. The purpose of the clinic was to teach lacrosse rules and fundamentals to the adult leaders so that they could then instruct the youngsters. The first techniques demonstrated were the pickups. A simple one first. Then one more difficult. Next, the instructors covered the basic passes. Overhand, and sidearm. At the other end of the field, the prospective referees were told that rough play should not be tolerated. 
The way to eliminate it is to penalize all infractions. This is the way lacrosse is started in a community. With good organization and leadership, there is no limit to what can be achieved. senior or peewee ranks, few sports can match lacrosse for excitement, speed, and conditioning. <laughs> Billy Wilson is playing his first game. He's still learning, but under peewee rules, beginners are given a chance to play at least three minutes of every period. Billy lacks in finesse. He makes up for with his speed and enthusiasm. It seems safe to say that the game of lacrosse will have another active player for many summers to come.